conservation, a solution for Dallas's drought. Conserving water in Dallas County is not a trendy social issue. It is a necessity to protect the most scarce commodity on earth. Consumable fresh water, how important is conserving water to you? You know conserving water can save your life? I would like to share with you specifically why conserving water in Dallas is a necessity for the continued success of our city, as well as why you should be an active participant in water conservation. I chose this topic because I am a citizen of Dallas and I have witnessed the unnecessary waste of water as well as devastating consequences of not dealing with water shortages. I intend to make it clear why it is necessary for all Dallas citizens to conserve water. So let's get started. Dallas has faced serious drought conditions in the last few years due in part to lower than normal rainfall. According to waterdataoftexas.org, Dallas uses water from seven lakes, Lake Fork, Grapevine, Levon, Ray Hubbard, Ray Roberts, and Quaffney. This year, 2011, was the worst one-year drought in Texas history. This year, the lake levels dropped to all times low levels. Average rainfall in Dallas is about 37 inches per year. In 2011, Dallas only had 7.5 inches in the first eight months of the year, for a deficit of about 24 inches through August. This forced the city to enforce strict stage 3 water restriction that was targeting the reduction of 20% of water use per day. Including These restrictions included one day a week landscape watering, no hand washing of cars, you must use a commercial wash that recycled water, no filling or refilling pools, no permits for new pools, no ornamental water fountains, and a penalty of a 10% fee for high demand users. One surprising fact that you may find interesting, the more affluence in a neighborhood, the higher the usage of water. According to the DallasMorningNews.com, the residents of University Park use three times the water as the average Dallas resident. Other water hogs that have been identified on the list for some of Dallas's most affluent residents, including Ross Perot and Jerry Jones. All Dallas citizens must take responsibility for their water consumption. This is not a luxury that can be abused or manipulated by social or economic status. This year, Dallas is entering the spring-summer season with our lakes 20% lower than the normal capacity. Whether experts predict this trend to continue throughout the year with no expectations of regaining the deficit in our rainfall, water is essential to support human life. If we compromise and waste our clean, usable water, we are putting ourselves at risk for demise. The citizens of Dallas must take active roles in conserving our scarce commodity of water. There is no way to create more water it is our responsibility to utilize the water we have in most responsible ways. I would like to share some interesting water usage facts that I found on Sunny Slope County Water District's website, www.sscwd.org. Did you know the average U.S. citizen uses 150 gallons of water per day? This includes water for drinking, hygiene, and other household functions. There are countless ways to reduce your water usage at home. Here are some examples of how much water we use and alternatives we will save water. Brushing your teeth with the water running will waste an average of 3 gallons. Showering and bathing use 27% of residential water. Uh, reduce the amount of water you use by showering instead of bathing. Reduce the amount of time you spend in the shower if possible. Each 5 minutes uses about 20 gallons of water. Also, replace old toilets with newer, low-flow units. Most toilets made before 1990 use more than 5 gallons per flush. Newer units use typically of about 1.5 gallons per flush. 
A leaky faucet can waste 100 gallons of water per day. So fix your leaks. Consult with an expert when planning your landscaping. Use native plants will significantly reduce the amount of water your yard will need. If every, person, if every person reduced their personal water use by 25 gallons per day, this could add up to millions of gallons of water saved per year. The city of Dallas will flourish with an adequate water supply. The city of Dallas and its surrounding metroplex is one of the fastest growing populations in the United States. It is estimated by the Austin American Statesman website that the population in the next of the state of Texas will grow 82% over the next 50 years. We will need to conserve now to be prepared for the future. We need to utilize water conservation to enable us to enjoy the things that make Texas a great place to live. Examples of things we will use with the water we save in Texas are lakes and recreation, agriculture, business, and home life. Conserving water does have an addition conserving water does have additional benefits. The less was you use, the less your water will be. Having an ample supply of fresh water will make Dallas remain a great place to live. All citizens of Dallas need to take ownership and do their part to conserve our water supply. I discussed with you the serious issue Dallas is currently facing with its water shortage. I discussed simple ways to save water and reduce the amount of water being used from our lakes. I then discussed the importance of how our water supply and the benefits to our community. Being responsible and conserving water is not a popular Dallas social issue. It is a necess nece necessary obligation. You need to acknowledge the issue of water conservation and its important consequences as if your life depends on it, because your life does depend on it. Thank you.